Who does the Prime Minister actually listen to? Noisy protesters or unions, MPs or those that write campaign checks. Every day, so many people and groups want the attention of the Prime Minister. But it's the top team in number 10 who decide which messages get heard by Keir Starmer. And from today, his Downing Street is under new management. Well, look, what I want to make sure is that uh, Keir Starmer and Rachel Reeves are listening. I mean, they themselves need to have their ear to the ground. They need to know exactly what's going on. Do you think the new team will help that? Well, I hope they do. The vacancy created after the Prime Minister fired Sue Gray as Chief of Staff. Ministers today giving a brief farewell, but no desire to dwell. I thank... Sue Gray for all that she did as a superb public servant. This is a government pledged to serve. There is much to do. It's a young government and we get on with the work ahead of us. Now leading that work for the Prime Minister is this man, Morgan McSweeney, the election supremo who spent years in opposition trying to get Labour out of the grip of Jeremy Corbyn. Left-wing MPs worry he's still fighting the battles of the past and won't listen as much to arguments from their part of the Labour Party. Morgan comes from a particular faction within the Labour Party. I think what you need as a chief of staff is someone who can straggle all the different elements of the party and be a true representative of a broad church if it's going to be effective. To be frank, I don't think Morgan is that person. But it's not just left-wing MPs who worry about a political imbalance in this government. In a little over three weeks, the teams and the buildings behind me must deliver the event that could determine whether Keir Starmer's premiership is a success or a failure. That's the budget and the spending review. And I can tell you now, there is deep anxiety all across Whitehall. Fears the Treasury are asking for too much, that manifesto promises may not be able to be afforded and that the scale of the bad news is just too much. And many Cabinet Ministers want the people in number 10 behind me to intervene. A big ask for such a new team. This is turning out to be the most fraught period in this new government's short lifespan. Can the new team in here calm things down fast? Sam Coates, Sky News, Westminster.